Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Castro back at you with Plugin Boutique and welcome to the second video for Stutter Edit 2 in the tutorial series on this brand new plugin from Isotope. I've already shown you how to get started using the stutter and buffer controls inside of Stutter Edit 2. And now I'm gonna show you how to get started with the effects. So these are the effects over here at your disposal. We have distortion, lo-fi, which is gonna be like your bit crusher, sample rate modifier, chorus, comb filter, reverb, flanger, a phaser, a low pass filter, a tape stop effect, a high pass filter, and then a delay. Most of these can be moved around uh, in terms of signal flow. It's gonna go from the top to the bottom, but delay is gonna be the last effect in the chain. I'm not sure why that is, but I'm sure there's a good reason for it. So let's go ahead and activate the reverb effect. To activate any of these, you just gotta click to turn it on, and then you click it to see the parameters. If it's off, the parameters will be grayed out. If it's on, they'll be nice and bright, and ready for you to take control of. So right now, this is what we got. A very decent, very straightforward stutter, ramping up from an eighth note to a 64th. So let's have this ramp up and then get really wet with reverb and then come back down. So the way to do that, I'm gonna unlock both of these. Dry is at the bottom. Oh, if I click dry wet, dry is at the bottom and then really, and wet is at the top and 50% is right in the middle. And remember that after you get past 50%, you're gonna start to lose your dry signal. So in fact, let's test that out. Let's go ahead and put it at 100%. You can hear how the dry signal is gone. So keep that in mind when you're automating the dry wet of any of these effects. You're gonna to start to lose the like the kind of beefy body in something like a reverb once you go past 50. So let's go ahead and do something like this. Now I want it to be 100% wet right here for that last little bit. And I want it to ramp up kind of close to over there. So something like this might work. Let's take the size and make it larger, closer to that as well. Start off decent size and then go quite large towards the end. And let's just see what that sounds like. <laughs> Very cool. So as the stutter increases in speed, it kind of gets washed out with the reverb. We can even make it a little bit longer. We do have feedback as well. We've got all of the other standard effects you would find in a reverb plugin at our disposal. We have brightness, LFO, and some post feedback as well. But for right now, I think that's enough to get started. And of course, we can come into this graph and really get into the nitty gritty in terms of editing. We have a number of presets and so on and so forth. There's another feature I wanna draw your attention to, which is the cut on release. Right now, and right up here, we have a really long reverb tail. Let's go ahead and see what that sounds like. <laughs> And you can hear that reverb continue after stutter edit stops stuttering and editing. If I turn on cut on release, what's gonna happen is as soon as I release the key or we go through whatever release cycle we have selected up here, it's going to just stop. <laughs> So it's an abrupt stop. When the music comes back in on the quantized beat or on the grid like we have on release right here, the reverb just stops. If you want it to continue to flow, kind of like a send or return situation in your DAW, go ahead and turn that off. The other effect that has that is the delay too. If I turn this on, cut on release is located right here. Let's add some reverb too. Something similar to the, what we have over there. Same kind of curve. So there you can really hear the tail. And if we want that tail to go away, again, just make sure to cut on release for both the reverb and the delay. So it depends on what you're going for with the effect you're trying to achieve with your particular gesture. 
And that's really all there is to it. All of these other effects here are really high quality effects in their own right, but I'm pretty sure most of you know how, what these are and how to use them. A quick tip might be for something like this where I have it on the master bus or a group that has bass and a kick drum to maybe activate the high pass on here and you know have it instantaneously roll off the subby low end, you know, around 40 hertz just so we don't get any crazy sub feedback on our system or wherever you're playing this, if you're playing this out. This is meant to be played in a live situation. If you're at a concert, you don't want to be too crazy with your stereo field on the sub end. Using something like this just to instantly cut it off and you know maybe even go a little bit further depending on what kind of thing you're looking for. Let's go ahead and turn this resonance down. <laughs> It might be a really good idea to keep that on where you're going to be doing it on a bus like this that has the sub, the bass, and the kick drum. You know, we could do it, you know, any number of effects with this. Another cool thing to do is turn on the limiter down here and just make sure you have that on so you're never gonna be peaking inside of your system. So there you go, we already have a number of effects working in tandem, including the stutter, the reverb, delay, and high pass, and we've got a really nice effect right out of the gate. And this is only scratching the surface of what's capable inside of stutter edit, but I wanted to share that with you real quick so you can get up and running and inside of this plugin and getting it going as soon as possible. Links in the video description if you wanna check out more. I'm gonna be doing some more video tutorials. If there's anything specific that you wanna know about or see how it's done, just leave it in the video comments. I'll check it out and hopefully be able to make a video for you. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>